Let's now look at the improper fraction 25 over 6. 25 is greater than 6. The numerator is greater than uh, the denominator. So we know 25 over 6 is an improper fraction. So in a, in a different video, we discussed 24 over 6, where the numerator was in fact a multiple of the denominator. This is not one such fraction. The numerator is not a multiple of the denominator. So 24, 25 over 6 is a point on the number line. Let's intuitively, let's think about which point on the number line it is. Well, 25 over 6 is 25 copies of 1 sixth. So that means if we were to cut up the um, unit segment um, from 0 to 1 into 6 pieces of equal length, then um, the first point, um, the point at the first tick mark to the right would be 1 over 6. And if you started counting uh, multiples of 1 over 6, 6 over 6 would be this point, 12 over 6 would be this point, um, 18 over 6 would be this point 3, 24 over 6 would be this point, and looks like 25 over 6 would be to the right of 4, and in particular, if we cut up this segment into 6 equal pieces, then uh, the first tick mark to the right of 4, that is in fact the 25 over 6. So this is 24 over 6, and this point is 25 over 6. So we are able to visually see what 25 over 6 is. However, if you just looked at 25 um, over 6, it might be hard for you to kind of think that, that that is a point on the number line that's between 4 and, and 5. There's nothing in here to indicate that. Uh, and so right now what I hope to do is uh, show you how to rewrite 25 over 6 as what we call a mixed number in such a way, and that mixed number will kind of give you when you look at it, once you convert 25 over 6 into the mixed number, you'll right away be able to see that's 4 and 1 6. That's really what it is. So let's see what I have done here in this um, detailed steps. And then I'll show you a, a shortcut a way, quicker way of um, seeing 25 over 6 as the mixed number. So 25 over 6, I rewrite it in this form, where what I have done is in the numerator, I've rewritten 25 as 24 plus 1. Note 24 is the highest multiple of 6. I can go, uh, that is in 25. So when I, I start counting in 6, sixes, and I go as high as possible, but don't, don't, don't go over 25. So 24 is as far as I get. And then one more, that's what 25 is. So if you do it correctly, this plus part, this number here, whole number here, will always be something smaller than 6. It will be um, a whole number 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, depending on whatever the, this number is. It will not be 6 and more, because if it's 6 and more, that means you could have gone up uh, one more multiple. So I rewrite 25 as 24 plus 1. 24 is the highest multiple of 6 in 25. And then what do I do? I rewrite this fraction, I split it up as a sum of two fractions. This may at first feel a little awkward, but let's look and see why this fraction is exact, the sum of two fractions is exactly the same as this. Uh, look at this, we're adding two fractions with the same denominator. So with the addition algorithm we've already covered, the sum of these two fractions is another fraction whose denominator is exactly 6, and the numerator is simply 24 plus 1, 24 plus 1. Another way to think is this is 24 copies of 1 6. Add to it another copy of 1 6. That is 24 plus 1 copies of 1 6. And that's really this expression. Why? What do we get from uh, proceeding this way and arriving at this step? Let's see. By, not, by, a pre, by another video, 24 over 6 is easily seen to be 4. And so now what we have is 4 plus this proper fraction, 1 6. And uh, by our discuss previous discussion, 4 plus 1 sixth can also be written, written in this confused mixed number notation, 4 1 sixth. I can just simply choose not to write this plus because here what I have is a whole number plus a proper fraction. So in that case, by convention, I can remove it and write it this way. Okay. So if, when we see 25 over 6 as 4, one sixth, a whole number and a proper fraction. It's this this form is a little bit easier for us to um, for visualizing where exactly this not this um, point is on the number line because we see four we, we can visualize four on the number line 
and uh, th there's nothing here but that it means plus 4 and then a proper fraction so we don't quite get to 5 but 4 and a little bit more and we can visualize that point so how do we uh, so we can either follow uh, write out these steps and convert 25 over 6 the improper fraction 25 over 6 um, we can convert it into a mixed number like this or we can um, um, instead of writing these steps once you understand this logic we can uh, also proceed um, quickly as follows so in other words I want to just give you a shorthand uh, way of getting this four and this this one where, where, where do we get that so either you can do it mentally as for as follows you start counting in sixes and go as high as possible um, but don't go over 25 and you keep track of the multiples so 6 12 18 24 that's four, and then so that 4 is this 4 and then we went up to 24 and then one more would get us to 24 25 so that is this one if you prefer not to do it mentally then you could also do long division that's in fact really what's going on so 25 do the long division with 6 6 um, goes into two zero times we write a zero write a, oops write zero two and five now six goes into um, 25 four times so four six times four is 24 and with a remainder of one and so you see this four the quotient is this four this remainder one in this long division with remainder that's this one so that's how we can if you if you prefer to write it all out then you can do the long division and get your four and one it and for small numbers it's also okay to just simply count in sixes on your fingers and the higher whatever multiple you get to the highest multiple four and then one six if you do it right you will get a whole number and this is a proper fraction and um, this so this is how you can convert an improper fraction into a mixed number firstly it's completely okay to all um, if you get an answer in a problem if you get if the answer is an improper fraction it's fully all right to leave your answer as an improper fraction there is no rule that says you have to convert it into a mixed number as I pointed out uh, one advantage is if you do convert it you kind of get a better feeling for this um, this number what number is this on the number line 25 over 6 once you convert it into a mixed number, you can see, oh, it is 4 and just a little bit more. So it's a number that's between 4 and 5. So th that is the only advantage, but it's not um, a rule that you have to convert every fraction, improper fraction um, into a mixed number.